So 6.2.1 has been released and we're going to see if it fixes any of my bugs that I've had with 6.2. Currently there is a bug that was introduced with 6.2 which is a long startup time. It took 44 seconds for me to be able to log in to KDE which is new and it's been reported, it's been confirmed by developers. So don't go arguing about it into the comments. Not everybody has it yet again, but it is still a bug and you need to understand that. It works on my machine, does not apply. Never has, never will. It's not how the world works because we don't have your machine. So the first bug was overlapping. As you can see, the overlapping issue is fixed before the start menu would pop up over top of the panel. Now that that's been fixed, things have been set right again, and I guess, yay. Oh, why is this horrible ass app in here? Like, go away. Don't use Discover to update your OS. Don't use Discover to install applications. Don't use Discover for anything. Uninstall it and save yourself some trouble. So the next issue that we had is with well, boundaries not being set between the panel and these buttons right here, or this in general. Well, so far so good. I mean, yes, we're technically in the bar right now, but we move it just a little farther down and we're not. So this bug has been fixed as well. Uh, before what would happen is if we pressed the very top of this button, it would click the panel. And now that no longer happens, so that's great. If you want to see these bugs, you can go watch my last 6.2 video. I go over it in, in a lot of detail, which is great. Now, there was a lot of misconception. People think I'm using a theme. Not using any themes, actually. Not that I know of. Okay, well, I use this for color, but it's not actually applied at the moment, so I don't even get the point. Let's go back to Breeze. There, we're back on Breeze. As you can see... Nothing's changed. Uh, I ended up having everything overridden anyway by using uh, one widget, actually two widgets to make all this happen. This one's called KDE Material U Colors. It allows you to change everything according to your wallpaper, which a lot of people want it because this is avoiding the whole theming problem. Because KDE, it, 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 um, how do I explain this? KDE thinks it's the most customizable desktop environment there is. But if you customize it, it breaks. Think about that. It's not very customizable in the end there, is it? I mean, if it breaks, that is. Like, if you add any sort of theming to these buttons whatsoever, if you go and you add a, not a plasma style, a Windows decoration theme, this thing will lag out for eternity. And that's the problem. But if you do the same thing in GNOME, it doesn't affect anything. That's the big difference. I mean, I can go in here, draw a circle, draw a border, and there we go. Now we have some traffic lights going on. And yeah, we can add a gradient. Uh, there's lots of lame things that you can do. You can adjust shadows and outlines. You don't really need to do much of anything. So yeah, like if I wanted to, I can put the title on the left. But because I used to be a Windows user for so long, I'm used to it in the center. And again, we can do full width if you wanted to, button size, we can do very large. Or we can do medium, or we can do large. I'm going to do large because I like, I like the fact that the big buttons are there. Shadows and outlines, you can choose your shadow color, medium, whatever. Like, we could do maximum. Now we've got maximum shadow outlining. Like, look at this. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cool as that. Now we're just, now it actually looks pretty good. So, again, I'm not using any theming. I am using only widgets. So if we go to show panel, you can see I'm using a, uh, a widget called panel colorizer. It has a ton of different settings for icons. And again, this is where we're setting everything. This is where we're setting the outline. And uh, you can change the width if you want of things. So we can make it a big, thick old panel, or we can make it like a small old panel. It all depends on you. Now, I remember the main reason I did change to a theme was to deal with this, because why are we still using squares? 
for things. Can we stop? It doesn't help. I know that may sound silly, but it's just a thing. I don't like it. Uh, there's utterly round it. Can we like fix that with utterly round it? Yeah, utterly round it fixes it. But it also doesn't apply an overall theme over because look, it's still good. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, what's that? Why is this doing that thing? Ooh. No, thank you. Now, my bugs are fixed. I know a lot of other people had my bugs. I know a lot of other people had different bugs for me. I know other people had audio issues and so on and so forth. Uh, the slow startup time, you name it. There, uh, Plasma 6 has been riddled with bugs. Thousands per day. On and off, nonstop. It's just an uphill battle. At this point, it would be a lot easier to just, I don't know, maybe rebuild Plasma from the ground up. I'm sure that won't help either, though, because... I'm, they'll probably find a way to mess that up as well. Or it just won't work very well. And it hit hide on that. Yeah. So there was like square corners over there. There we go. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I mean, I've tried my best. My bugs are fixed. It's a good release so far. I've not had any issues. Any other issues that I will have. I will do you a solid and release another video on any bugs that I find. I'll like compile them all up into a list and record them when I find them and send them off to you. Anyway, with that, I am off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will well, see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.